Hi class. So let's talk about the lab rational number class. To define a class for rational number, you are going to download the test program that I have provided um, such that I can actually test your program easier. I mean, this is one of the ways, but um, without having to make it too complicated, um, I think uh, this is the best way to do it, is to just use my skeleton rational. Um, the public is all empty. The private has one function, which is called a test rational. Um, that is actually my test code. Um, so leave uh, that uh, the anything that's related to test rational alone and anything that's in main function alone. In a way though, if you want to, you can comment out or, you know, certain things when you are testing different parts of your class, the implementation and the declaration to test your, um, your, 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 your code. But um, at the end, I want the main function to be exactly the same like when I have given it to you. So what is a rational number? A rational number can be represented as um, basically like 3 over 4 or 15 over 7, something like that. So basically it has two integers um, and then has a slash in between. That's how we represent a rational number. Um, we will need three constructors. These are the description. And then we will need to overload the extraction and insertion operators, just like we've demoed in some of our videos in this module. And we also want to overload um, all the comparisons, like five of them, and then the four basic uh, arithmetic um, operations like plus minus uh, times and divide. So um, total number of functions are 15 of them, right? So three constructors to overloading the input outputs um, and nine of them are comparison on the arithmetic operators. Uh, actually, there's one more. It's normalizing function. So um, Actually, um, maybe let's talk about, um, let's use this, use this to do so. Um, so rational number can be, can be represented by one over two, like for example, right? So one and two are those probably private member variables. Um, and so when, when I say uh, three over four, um, divided basically let's put this way 3 over 4 divided by 1 over 2 then this actually is equal to 3 over 4 times 2 over 1 right this is I hope um, you know this um, I, this should be a prerequisite I think um, so then this means it's like uh, 3 times 2 so what's on top divided by 4 times 1, right? Mm, and there should be a parenthesis. And so this will equals to 6 divided by 4. And then to normalize it, uh, what we do is we try to see if um, 6 can be factored into, like in this case, um, 3 times 2. I guess we could have done it earlier. Um, but I and then four can be represented by two by two, two, two times two. And so we can cancel out the, the two on top and the two on the bottom. And so it's actually equals to three over two. And so you have to write the normalizing function also. Um, and I am actually giving you 10 bonus point for making the implementation that's already here in this link 100% more efficient. So 
if you just use the, the function that you see in this link, um, you know, you get the points that you get for Lomo homework. But if you make this function 100% more efficient, I will give you 10 more points. I think this is extremely easy. But um, anyways, look forward to your um, implementation. So I think these two functions are probably the hardest to do in the class and I'm making it very easy for you. So normalizing, I already give you an implementation that you can basically use. Um, use. Mm, and then for the this um, input, um, actually this should be is, yeah, it's the, the input operation. Um, you you can basically look at the mon money one, the, the one that's implemented in the money class. And I mean, you got the idea. But here, though, we what we are looking for is very simple, right? So what we are looking for is, um, is just a number, a divide by another number. So that's what we expect in the input stream. And anything else, you can say error. So the rest, I would say also to refer to the money class implementation. Um, you can see how money was implemented um, with the add. Um, I, I think there are implementation of uh, divide and so on in the book also. Um, I would also add the file that has all the Im implementation in the folder uh, like or, or in the module like I always do. Um, when you run the program, I expect that um, this is the output, something, I mean, something like that. If you input one over two, it will actually do all the calculations um, and so on. Um, and also, uh, uh, so so this one is basically, uh, basically th this has also implicitly have the input um, working and the output working. So that's it for my tips for you. I hope this helped you finish the program in no time. See you next week.